Tonight, this man, Timothy Hazlitt, faces a new charge, first-degree murder. It is the 10th charge against him in a case that goes back nearly two years and began when a woman he kidnapped escaped from his basement and ran for help. KSHB 41 reporter Lee Shonick breaks down what we learned in this case. Tuesday was a day many here in Liberty, Missouri were waiting for. Just here behind me inside the Clay County Administrator's Building, a grand jury indicted Timothy Hazlitt with second degree murder, a charge that if he's found guilty of in coming months means either life in prison or the death penalty. This is all connected to the death of a woman named Janie Crosdale. My heart goes out to the victims and the families in this case. High emotions packed the Clay County Administrator's Building Tuesday evening. The new charge is for the murder of Janie Crosdale. Prosecuting attorney Zachary Thompson said Timothy Hazlitt was indicted with first degree murder. This charge comes almost two years after Hazlitt was taken into custody. Investigators from over 16 law enforcement agencies have worked together pursuing over 100 leads and reviewing evidence. Hazlitt was already indicted on nine other felony charges, including sex crimes, kidnapping, assault, and endangering the welfare of a child. He allegedly sexually assaulted another victim in his home who survived and escaped back in 2022. The physical, psychological, and sexual torture described by the defendant's surviving victim is brutal and barbaric. Excelsior Springs police eventually identified another woman, Janie Crosdale, as a potential witness. Thompson says Hazlitt and Crosdale had been in contact with each other. Uh, a still image. Uh, taken from Mr. Hazlitt's uh, electronic device, uh, showing her inside his basement. Uh, an SD card uh, depicting individuals connected to Ms. Crosdale uh, was found inside his house. In June 2023, Missouri State Highway Patrol confirmed Crosdale's body was found in the Missouri River in a blue barrel. Police said at the time that Hazlitt was one suspect in her death. When crimes like this occur in our community, it can be devastating. Thompson also says Hazlitt told the surviving victim he'd killed two people, which is why the investigation is still ongoing. To that point, I would ask anybody with any kind of information about the case, please reach out to law enforcement and share that information. Thompson says that their victim's advocate has been in communication with the Crosdale family, but he couldn't speak on their reaction. Our work continues. Reporting in Clay County, I'm Elise Shoning, KSHB 41 News.